guess you could say face primer is the foundation for your foundation. Hey there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first episode of What's the Dealio. What's the Dealio is my new segment on my channel where I will be discussing makeup brands, makeup products, how to use them, why to use them, and what they do for you. So I hope you enjoy them. My first episode is all about primers. Okay, what do I do with my makeup primer? How do I use it? Why do I use it? What is it? That's a question I get all the time in, every, in my everyday life because a lot of my friends and my family know that I love makeup, obviously. So they'll come to me like, hey, Theo, what do I do with this? What is it? Why am I using it? Do I have to buy it? I literally had to take one of my friends to Ulta to get her a makeup primer because she was just applying makeup directly onto her face. And I was like, no, honey, boo boo, you need makeup primer. She was like, but why? So I explained why, and in fact, I've explained why to a bunch of different people over the last couple months, and I decided to make a video. So the first primer I'm going to talk about is face primer. The second one is eyeshadow primer, but I'll save that for later. So face primer, a lot of people wonder why they need it. They think it's just a random extra cost. Some people just don't use it. They skip that step. They don't think it's worth the money. But in reality, this is something you shouldn't be skipping. So here's what it does. Face primer acts as the base for your foundation. It also fills in large pores and fine lines and wrinkles so that your foundation can be a, can apply a lot smoother. Have you noticed, and I've seen this, have you noticed some people who are like walking around and their makeup looks so nice like right here but then like right there there's like a patch of you know it's not really blended in properly but you kind of just keep looking at them and you move on you may have seen that before or you may have noticed on your own makeup application i know i used to not use primer a couple years ago i just put on my foundation and go along and i would i'd feel like whenever i hug people or something my foundation was kind of like coming off and i'm not even an oily person yet i felt like it was like melting off my skin it was it was a lot, it was a lot. Instead of your foundation sticking directly to your face, the primer just kind of keeps everything down and straight and perfect and flat and creates a nice blank canvas for your foundation. Also, if you have oily skin, some of the face primers that you can buy have a mattifying effect so that it can suck the oils and keep the oils at bay so that your foundation doesn't have to deal with that. I have dry skin and I don't want to look matte sometimes. It just really depends on what's going on that day with my skin. So I try my best to use a luminescent primer or one that doesn't say mattifying on it so that I can get the benefits of a primer without taking my oils away because I'm really, really dry. The luminescent radiant primers, like the Becca backlit primer that you probably seen in my Becca dewy makeup springtime tutorial that I did last spring, that primer allows you to still have the dewy under undertone, this dewy underdo. So I would advise that somebody with oily skin would stay away from one of those luminous primers <laughs> and instead stick with a mattifying one. Now we're gonna talk about the different colors of primers that you can find at your local Ulta or Sephora or beauty supply store of some sort. There are colored primers out there that can be a little confusing for some people. Um, I know when I took my friend to Ulta, she was like, what do the colors do? And I was like, I don't even remember really explaining it to her. I was like, yeah, they're colors and you need the green one because you've got red. So now I get the opportunity to explain it in this video. There are purple, green, and reddish peach pinkish um, primers that you'll see. They do two things. One, they first of all do all the things I said that the clear slash translucent primers do. And now the second job that they do is color correct. But here's a quick synopsis of what color correcting is. Color correcting utilizes the color wheel as the basis for color relationships. Have you noticed Christmas, how we always put red with green and we're just like, oh yeah, it goes together, woo. And then for Easter, we're like purple and yellow. Yeah, they're like best friends, woo. Well, the truth is that when it comes to makeup, using colors from opposite ends of the color wheel can neutralize each other. Here's why you will need a purple primer. You will need the purple tinted primer if you have a yellow undertone or a goldish yellowish undertone on your skin that you just don't want to show through your foundation. So you use the purple and the purple will neutralize the yellow on your skin. Here's why you'll need a green primer. The green primer will help neutralize the redness in your skin and then your redness will be all gone. As my little sister said in my voiceover video, she was like, all gone. The peachy pink Reddish primer will neutralize the bluish purplish undertone in your skin. Now let's talk about my favorite type of primer, eyeshadow primer. 
Girl, I love eyeshadow primer because it literally changed my life. Eyeshadow primer helps your eyeshadow and your eyeliner to last longer. I used to apply my eyeshadow directly onto my skin and literally it would crease and it would get kind of awkward. And like I said, I don't have oily skin, but I have oily eyelids. I've seen people who literally walk around and their eyeshadow, like it started off cute in the beginning of the night and then all of a sudden you don't see it anymore. But unless they, bl they close their eye like this and you see like eyeshadow just right there, just smears of it, just only in the creases and you're just like, not a great sight to see and not a great thing for you the person who applied the eyeshadow you know because you look in the mirror you're like why isn't it staying on why isn't it the way it was supposed to be and it's a really easy fix all you need is eyeshadow primer all you have to do is just apply it it keeps your oils from ruining your hard work also why i love eyeshadow primer is because somebody listened to god and invented white eyeshadow primer praise the Lord, because literally I would see these great eyeshadow colors, all these pastels, and I would really want to wear them and have them pop and shine and be the way they looked in the palette and on my white friends and my white YouTubers that I love to watch. But then I'd put it on and, and the colors just would not show. And thus white eyeshadow primer was invented. And now all my colors can pop and shine through when I do my makeup. Honestly, I use my white eyeshadow primer all the time, except for when I'm doing a natural look. And if you watch my old video, oh my Ghana flag tutorial, I also use the white eyeshadow primer. But in my natural everyday makeup tutorial, I use just a plain eyeshadow primer that does have a white tint to it, but it's not too bright, just so that my eyeshadow is not like gleaming if I'm trying to look natural. Another type of primer is eyelash primer. And most of them have a white tint to them, or they go on kind of clear and they just separate your eyelashes. It's like clear mascara for those days when you don't want to wear mascara but you want your eyelashes to kind of pop and you don't want to clean up too much later. But I like to use the one with the white tint though so that it really brings my eyelashes up and it adds like some more, some extra volume to the individual lashes so that when I do apply my mascara, my lashes are like, oh hello. Final thoughts about primer. Both face and eye primer should be applied with your fingers. The only time you should really use a brush to apply your eyeshadow primer is if you're using a small flat concealer brush. I usually use a brush to apply my white eyeshadow primer so that I can keep the white pigment intact. But when I'm applying primer on my face, I use my fingers. I really feel like your fingers are the best thing to help you kind of massage your skin and get through to those pores instead of using a brush that will just kind of slide all over it. And definitely don't use a, a beauty blender or a sponge to apply your primer. Do not, because the, the sponges absorb a lot of the product so that the minimal amount gets on your skin and you really need the primer on your skin. Some of your primers may leave a white cast on your face and that's okay, especially if you're dark like me. Um, because you're going to put foundation on over it. So don't worry too much about that. However, if the whiteness is kind of showing through and you feel like your foundation is not killing it, maybe check your foundation brand. Maybe um, you put a bronzer over it. Just you can. There are ways to work around that. But if you feel like it's just unbearable and you can't deal, then you might need to just change your primer altogether. And as usual, if you are using a product that you feel is irritating your skin or causing some unnecessary redness or splotchiness or some itchiness, then you should talk to your dermatologist about that. And you can pay attention to ingredients as you shop for your makeup products. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Please like and share it as needed. And if you subscribe to my channel, you will totally be seeing more videos from me like this and of course my tutorials and get ready with me's and my vlogs. See ya. Oh, hey there. Did you just like that video you saw? Just hit the subscribe button down here and over here you'll see my last video. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for coming to my channel.